Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a two-piece vinyl decal with a seam. Dave, coming back at you again with another video, and just cause all the cool kids say you have to have a full wrap, doesn't mean you have to. Sure, a full vinyl wrap looks great, and it gets lots of attention, but they can be fairly expensive after they've been printed and installed sometimes even more than a paint job. As always on this channel, I'm trying to get you guys to think outside the box and use your creativity and imagination to your financial benefit. With that said, I wanted to add a little something to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang so we could advertise our YouTube and Instagram. I thought a good spot for a quick and simple installation would be between the two rear windows. I print my decals on a thermal printer that's limited to 11 and 3 quarter inches high by 150 feet long. Today, I'm gonna to be installing a two-piece vinyl decal with a seam. An easy to install mini wrap, if you will, for all you DIY-minded happy campers out there. So let's get installing. The first thing we need to do is get the surface area where we're gonna be installing the graphic clean of any dirt, wax, grease. I'm using denatured alcohol, some guys like isopropyl alcohol, but you use whatever you're comfortable with using to clean the surface. It's always a good idea to test your cleaner on a small, inconspicuous area first. Next, use two small pieces of painter's tape to hold the graphic in place. You can then measure and move the graphic as needed to get it level by lifting the tape and moving as necessary. Once the graphic is where you want it, run a piece of tape down the center of the graphic. Next, we want to remove the backing paper from the graphic and tear it off at the tape line. It does not matter which side you start with first. Using a plastic vinyl squeegee, link for one of those in the description below, we are going to start from the middle and squeegee up and down, slowly working the graphic down. Make sure to keep the graphic at a slight angle so it does not touch the surface until you squeegee it down. Now we can remove the center tape line and squeegee down the second side just like we did the first side. As you squeegee, you will slowly lower the angle of the graphic. Once squeegeed down, we can remove the transfer mask. The transfer mask is used for two reasons on these types of graphics. One, to protect the graphic from scratches that could be caused by the squeegee, and two, because it keeps the vinyl from stretching as you squeegee it down. This is important since we will be seaming this down the middle, and we do not want the graphic to be stretched because it will affect the alignment of the other half of the graphic. Next, we will need to line up the top half to the bottom half. There will be about a quarter inch of overlap, so keep that in mind when you are lining it up. Use the painter's tape in the corners to help hold the graphic in position once you have it lined up. Carefully run tape down the center. Lay the graphic flat again to check to make sure it is still lining up. If not, pull the tape off the surface area and realign the graphic. Once you have the graphic where it needs to be, we apply it the same way as we did the first half. Note, it is important to install the bottom half of the graphic first with the top half overlapping the bottom so that when water runs down, it runs over the seam instead of flowing into the seam. Remove the transfer mask and run your finger down the seam to make sure it has a nice adhesion. If you have a creative idea for a graphic that you want for your vehicle, feel free to reach out to me via email, DM me on Instagram, or you can reach out to me via messaging on Etsy, all linked in the description below. And I will see if it's something I can do for you and get you a quote. Sometimes I can't do certain things because of the limitations of my equipment, but there's a lot of options that I can do, so feel free to ask me. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. Be sure to hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!